Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. At the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, every tongue confess him. King of glory now, tis the Father's pleasure we should call him Lord, who from the beginning was the mighty word, humbled for a reason to receive a name from the lips of sinners unto whom he came. Faithfully he bore it spotless to the last, brought it back victorious when from death he passed, bore it up triumphant with his human light, through all ranks of creatures to the central height, to the throne of Godhead, to the Father's breast, filled it with the glory of that perfect rest. In your hearts enthrone him, there let him subdue all that is not holy, all that is not true. May your voice entreat him in temptation's hour. Let his will enfold you in his light and power. Brothers, this Lord Jesus shall return again with his Father's glory o'er the earth to reign. He is God the Savior. He is Christ the Lord, ever to be worshipped, ever blessed, adored. Your word, O Lord, is the lantern to light our way. Alleluia. Your word is a lamp for my steps and a light for my path. I have sworn and have made up my mind to obey your decrees. Lord, I am deeply afflicted. By your word, give me life. Accept, Lord, the homage of my lips and teach me your decrees. Though I carry my life in my hands, I remember your law. Though the wicked try to ensnare me, I do not stray from your precepts. Your will is my heritage forever the joy of my heart. I set myself to carry out your will in fullness forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let your word, Father, be a lamp for our feet and a light for to our path, so that we may understand what you wish to teach us and follow the path your light marks out for us. Your word, O Lord, is the lantern to light our way. Alleluia. When I see your face, O Lord, I shall know the fullness of joy. Alleluia. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. My happiness lies in you alone. He has put into my heart a marvelous love for the faithful ones who dwell in his land. Those who choose other gods increase their sorrows. Never will I offer their offerings of blood. Never will I take their name upon my lips. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you, yourself, who are my prize. The lot marked out for me is my delight. Welcome indeed the heritage that falls to me. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad, even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. You shall, you will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand happiness forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, uphold those who hope in you, and give us your counsel, so that we may know the joy of your resurrection, and deserve to be among the saints at your right hand. When I see your face, O Lord, I shall know the fullness of joy. Hallelujah. Let everything in heaven and on earth bend the knee at the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in, born in the likeness of men. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting even death, death on a cross. Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let everything in heaven and on earth bend the knee at the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. A reading from Colossians chapter 1. May God our Father give you grace and peace. We always give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, in our prayers for you, because we have heard of your faith in Jesus Christ and the love you bear toward all the saints. Moved as you are by the hope held in store for you in heaven. You heard of this hope through the message of truth, the gospel, which has come to you, has borne fruit, and has continued to grow in your midst, as it has everywhere in the world. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. His splendor reaches far beyond the heavens. May the name of the Lord be praised. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From the rising of the sun to its setting, may the name of the Lord be praised. My yoke is easy, and my burden is light, says the Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My yoke is easy, and my burden is light, says the Lord. God aids and protects the people he has chosen for his inheritance. Let us give thanks to him and proclaim his goodness. Lord, we trust in you. We pray for our Pope and for all our bishops. Protect them, and in your goodness make them holy. May the sick feel the companionship with the suffering Christ and know that they will enjoy his eternal consolation. In your goodness have compassion on the homeless. Help them to find proper housing. In your goodness, give and preserve the fruits of the earth so that each day there may be bread enough for all. Lord, you attend the dying with great mercy. Grant them an eternal dwelling. Let us make our prayers and praise complete by offering the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, through the obedience of Jesus, your servant and your son, you raised a fallen world. Free us from sin, and bring us to the joy that lasts forever. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.